So today we're doing some heavy distraction work at a local festival. I've got PD with me. He's been through the full training progression, so refer to our video on training progressions if you want to build your dog up to this point. So this is kind of a maintenance session for him. He does understand all rewards. He understands all communication. He also understands accountability with the leash and the remote collar. So I'm going to be explaining to you guys what I'm doing as we go through this crowd right here. Petey, come. Good. Petey, heel. So one of the things we want to focus on whenever we have a dog at this level of training is we just basically want the leash to be in our hand because of leash law. We don't really want to pull into the leash if we don't have to, all right? So I'm going to be primarily using a remote collar for my corrections if I need to give a correction. And if I do need to pull into the leash a little bit, I will just to provide some guidance. But I want to use as little leash as possible. And you're probably going to observe some people and dogs that are holding on to their leash, pulling their dog around with their leash. So if you see that, that's not what we want to do, okay? So what I'm focusing on right now is that as I move, this dog right here, his name is Petey. As I move through, uh, can I have a hey? can I ask your question? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sorry, I'd be hostage, okay. But they just refuse. They know it. Okay. They just do it when they want to. I got you. So. Well, in those cases, if they've already been through training, we can do just do some refreshers. Okay, but perfect. shoot us a text or an email. We'll set that up and come over and visit right, with you. Thank you My so name's much. Chad, by the way. Hi, I'm Sean. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. Yep. All right, so moving on here in the session, again, what we're focused on, we want to act like the leash is not even there, all right? If we have to give a correction with our dog out of position, we're going to say no, give a bump on the remote collar, all right? The other thing I'm looking for is his adherence to me, his positioning to me. So as I move through the crowd, obviously I'm having to stop, I'm having to move through people. So that's where that body adherence training really comes into play, is if we're moving around, we want to see him adjust and basically we want him following our left leg. Now with that being said, if he does check-ins with me, if he gives me eye contact, if he's doing the right thing, I'm still going to be on my random reward schedule. Remember at the end of our training progression, we are on our random reward schedule. So right now we're still doing our random reward schedule, so I can still reward him at any time for doing the right things. And so what that would look like is basically you know, if he's in good position next to me, I can say good. I can give him a piece of food out of my bait bag for a food reward. I could also reach down and give him some physical contact for that physical contact reward, okay? But just the intensity of this crowd is what we're looking for. We're looking for that body adherence focus and we're looking for those check-ins. Now notice my equipment layout. I've got my bait bag with my food rewards on my back, right, back of my waist, also poop bags in there, ready to go. And then I have his remote collar, remote actually on my right pocket for easy access. I am right-handed, so it's right here in my right pocket for easy access. I'm holding his leash in my left hand just because it's easier for me to handle things with my right hand that I need to handle with them. With uh, you know me being right-handed, I want to use that hand most often if I need to shake somebody's hand or give a correction or anything like that, but I can switch the leash over to my right hand. What that would do is allow my left hand to be able to deliver food rewards. So I'll give a quick example of that. I just switched the leash to my right hand. So it's, again, maintaining a loose leash. And right now, you know, he's looking around, taking everything in, but I could encourage him to look at me, Petey. And then once he looks at me, I can say good, and then I can deliver a food reward as I'm going here, all right? And that's what, how you would do that moving through a crowd like this. Now I'm saying his name, Petey, to basically entice him, to encourage him to look up at me, right? To give me that eye contact. And as I'm going through the crowd here, I'm just looking around myself, looking for different people moving around, looking for different dogs. There are the possibility of problem dogs in the crowd. You know, there's the possibility that someone brought a dog out here that shouldn't be out here. So with that being said, I'm keeping an eye out. If I see those types of dogs in the environment, then I'm just gonna keep moving, okay? That dog that just came up on him and sniffed his butt, right? That was pretty uh, disrespectful for that dog to be doing that. Petey turns around and looks at him. I just say no, I bump him. Um, and what he does at that point is he starts looking forward again. And that's what I want. I want him to start ignoring the dogs that are around us. Nope. And give us some eye contact, right? So that second right there where he goes behind me, he's looking behind me at the dogs over there. I just say no, bump on the remote collar. I just keep moving at my pace, okay? So that's one thing we're gonna be doing.
The other thing I can be doing when I'm out and about like this is I can be looking for an open area like this right here that I'm about to enter. I kind of get out of the main crowd area. I can move over to an open area like this. Petey, sit. Good, and then I can start my eye contact drills where I put PD into a sit stay, I put PD into a down stay. I basically move around him just like this, and once he gives me some eye contact, ideally I want him to volunteer eye contact to me. Once he volunteers eye contact to me, then I can say good and reward him. Good, okay? But just because of the intensity of the crowd and everything going on around us, it may take him a minute to give me that eye contact, right? But once he gives me that eye contact, I'm gonna say good, reward him to make that eye contact stronger, especially in distracting places just like this, okay? So notice how he's looking around, he's not really looking at me. I don't wanna beg him to look at me, I just want good. I just want him to make the decision to look at me. And he did that for a second and then he looked away, okay? So if he does that, looks away, I'm still going to reward that because I wanna, good, I wanna increase the likelihood of giving him of him giving me good eye contact okay pd down okay so we just had him in a sit stay for a little bit doing some eye contact the down stay is going to be more comfortable for him long term the sit stays fine but it does take more work for him to actually perform that sit stay notice how he's kind of sniffing around the ground if there was something sniffing around uh, if there was something on the ground that he was sniffing around at, I could say no. Bump if he was about to get something that he shouldn't be getting, like a piece of trash or maybe something that's on the ground. But again, all I'm focused on is moving around, waiting for him to give me the eye contact. As soon as I get the eye contact, I say good, I reward him, good, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do real quick, moving out of this, out of this area right here, moving away from the eye contact drill, I'm gonna call him to me and I'm gonna call him to a heel position, okay? Petey, come. Petey heel. Good, so what I wanna see him doing, because we've practiced everything away from the heavy distraction, I wanna see him come on command, and then I wanna see him put himself into that heel position on command, right? Now I can proceed with moving through the heavy crowd, and again, focusing on that body adherence, focusing on different things that are going on around me, okay? So that's all we're doing at this point in the game, okay? With that being said, again, all protocols remain, right? If he's doing the right thing, he's gonna say good, he's gonna get that reward randomly. If he's doing the wrong thing, I'm gonna say no, I'm gonna give him a bump. Again, we have this dog that's kind of coming up behind us, sniffing, whatever. So if he looks at it, I can say no, bump, like I just did, and then boom, Petey should be looking away from that dog. I basically want you ignoring the dogs that are going on around you, okay? So anyway, this is just an example of a heavy distraction area that you could be going to with your dog. Hopefully you guys found some good uh, feedback and things you can be doing with your dog from this video. As always, leave us a comment, let us know what you wanna see on the channel, and we'll see you guys next time.